Hi everyone. So today we're going to be thinking about the target. I can explain the author's purpose and message within a text. So when we think about author's purpose, our mind often goes to pie. So we have three different reasons why an author might be writing the text to either persuade, inform, or to entertain audiences. So an author's purpose is his or her reason for writing a text. Knowing the purpose helps you recognize the author's message. So we're going to think about the genre first. So we know that Captain Arsenio is a fantasy story. This does not really happen. The author uses Captain Arsenio as a way of telling us a message. But this is all made up and this is um, all stories that are coming from the mind of the author. So we're going to decide based on the genre that we know if the author's purpose is to persuade, which means that the author wants readers to think or act in a certain way. Are they trying to inform us, which means that the author wants to share information about a topic? Or is the author trying to entertain us, which means that the, reader, that the author wants readers to enjoy the story? So we already know the genre is fantasy. Then we're going to ask questions about what you read and find answers. So we really want to figure out what it is, what reason it is that Captain Arsenio was written. So yesterday we learned about Captain Arsenio's project number three, the Cork Scrupturus. So we're going to find out what happens with this invention. Flight diary. Everything is ready for takeoff. The jump is possible. Phase one at rest. Phase two, 10 seconds. I start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Phase three, 3.5 seconds. Oh, the acceleration is violent. I have conquered gravity without any problems. Phase four. One minute. I have already passed through the clouds. I start the controlled descent. Phase five, one second. Now it's time for the wings. Phase six, 7.25 seconds. Descent is completely under control, although the wings do not respond as I had expected panic point. Phase seven, total elapsed time. One minute, 21.75 seconds. The doctor is not at home. I will call the veterinarian. So when we look at the chart, it says maximum height measured 208 feet. 99 feet, 50 feet, and then so on. Three feet, zero feet. Note, this document is the only one of its kind. There are no other recorded data of a person surviving such a fall, either before or since. Goodbye from below. As it happens, with almost all legends, multiple versions contradict one another. Proof disappears and word of mouth constructs stories that differ greatly from the reality. No one knows for certain what exactly happened to Captain Arsenio and his flying machines. All that is left is his diary, 90 pages of consecutive fails, and one big question. Did he eventually succeed? Some say that Arsenio's book was buried near Cairo, Egypt, 7,508 miles away from where he lived in Patagonia, Argentina. Others disagree and tell us that it was in a chest at the bottom of the sea, buried under a pile of rusty metal junk. But most people insist with the determination that Captain Arsenio's diary was found on the surface of the moon on July 20th, 1969. 
Many years have passed since that first Moto Canary. Although I have failed many times, I have learned so much. And today, for the first time, I am sure that this new machine I have developed is going to work. I deserve a piece of heaven, and I'm going for it. Captain Arsenio, December 6th, 1789. So we're going to go back and think about the fact that this is a fantasy story. And when we have the author's words and the illustrations, we're going to think, what do you imagine is the author's purpose for writing this story? Why did they choose to write about a character named Captain Arsenio and all of his flying machines? What was the author trying to do? Were they trying to persuade you? Were they trying to inform you? Or were they trying to entertain you? When we look at these illustrations all throughout this story, what do they do for the reader? How do they make the story more engaging? 